Alright guys, my name is Metagoblin and today I'm going to be counting down the top 5 add-ons I simply could not live without in Classic WoW, so overall some really useful and powerful add-ons. Just before jumping guys, please do give me a quick follow on Twitch if you want to catch any of my live streams, and a uh, quick apology if my you know voice sounds a bit nasally and a bit distorted, it's because I've got a really serious cold right now, so apologies for that. So the first add-on we're going to talk about is a quick one. I've talked about this very briefly in other videos and on my live streams. The, the add-on is called Focused. So what it basically does, if I need to move my unit frames like this, if I go to... Well, they're already unlocked. If I move them, my target and play frame will perf stay perfectly symmetrical no matter where I move them. And obviously this is I just find this generally very, very useful and an extreme convenience when I'm just like setting up my UI because I don't have to like, you know, faff about trying to perfectly sync up the both the unit frames together to make them look nice and neat. It's just going to do it for me. So very simple add-on to start this video off with. The next add-on we have is Leatrix Plus, which is an absolute godsend. First of all, it has a lot of automation systems, so let's talk about through them. You have automatic quest pickups, like that for when you're leveling up, and automatic gossip options, although I'd re would recommend keeping that off to be honest. You can automatically accept summons, resurrections, releases, and PvP. I'm going to enable that one, actually, and selling your junk and all that kind of thing. The, there's some really useful ones, however, in the system tab. So this stand and dismount one will just make make you automatically dismount whenever you go to a flight master or whenever you use an ability or anything like that. So you don't need like the, the dismount macro, which is really useful. You've got max character zoom, and um, a lot of other things here that you can take note of as well. In the frames uh, menu, you also have a really cool feature of class coloured frames, so it will show like class colours in enemy player frames, just in case you're kind of unsure of what class you're going against. Because normally there's like a kind of split second when you're kind of unsure because you have to look at that gear and you don't really know what class there are, but that would make it obviously much, much clearer. And uh, there's an extra raid frame configuration. Apart from that, you've got, um, oh yeah, it changes some of the. Um, interface as well so like this makes the quest log a bit wider and it gives it um you know some better information stuff like that you also you also have some extra features on the character bar so i have a little thing here showing me my durability i also have a volume slider on the character bar which is really useful so just loads of really cool convenience options like that and also there's something to do with the dress up which i haven't tested actually apparently you can toggle tabards so there's like an ex some extras in here if i I can press the nude button to uh, totally take my gear off. I can toggle my tabard uh, and stuff like that. So the dressing up feature becomes um, a little bit easier to use as well. So there's just loads and loads of things that this add-on really helps with. And, you know, it'll take you a while for you to fully realise the power of this add-on. It is really useful. But anyway, um, let's move on. So the next add-on I'm going to talk about is called Spy. So the add-on is here. You can see the frame here. And what basically happens is nameplates kind of appear when enemy players... I basically detected. So I just detected that priest over there, if you can see. It's kind of out of range now, and there's a warrior here, his, his corpse is there. And when he resurrects, it's probably going to appear here. So basically, whenever enemy players are close by, this add-on would basically tell you where they, well, when they are nearby, and you could target them and just kind of figure out where they are. It will also tell you when there are stealthed enemies. So whenever an enemy close to you has stealthed, it would give you a little notification for when they've stealth, so then you can be a bit more vigilant and you will know that there's a rogue stealthing around, probably going for an opener, and then maybe you can pop perception, something like that to detect him. So, I mean, see, see um, how this walker just appeared? I click him and he's over there on the other side of the bridge, so I'm kind of safe. Yeah, just generally really useful add-on if you're, especially now in phase 2, doing a bit of world PvP. When um, you get to South Shore, this thing is popping off like crazy because everyone's there, obviously. But anyway, uh, Spy is another really cool add-on. So the next add-on we're going to talk about is Character Stats Classic. Basically, it's going to give you very detailed character information, very similar to what Retail is going to give you, but obviously in Classic WoW. Well, the main thing that's really useful for this is probably the hit chance, because obviously hit chance is a really important thing to keep track of. For some reason it's 6%, when it's supposed to be 8%, but... I don't know, oh, that's pro oh yeah, it's because I don't have that trinket equipped. So if I have that trinket equipped, it obviously bumps up to um, 8%, but anyway... Yeah, as you can see. And it obviously displays your crit chance without having to go to the spell book or anything like that. Or the, and then when you go to defensives, it will display loads of useful information about your defensives, like your parry, dodge, and block chance, which is really useful. And if you go to, obviously, magic, it will 
show you some other really useful things like your spell power, spell healing, your mana regen, and obviously your crit and hit chance. So just a generally really useful add-on to keep track of your character stats. So the last add-on we're going to talk about is Omni CC. So what Omni CC does is it very clearly displays crowd control effects in the you know target player frame. So let me show you that very quickly. If I sap this target here, I can see the sap and precisely how many seconds it has left. You may think this is only going to be a useful PvP add-on, but it's extremely useful in, Pv in PvE, particularly in situations when people use like banish crowd control effects, similar effects to that, because obviously you have to wait for that crowd control effect to come off before you can start targeting or, you know, setting up your rotation, whatever. So generally very, very useful because you don't obviously stack in, um, there's a particular word for it that I used to know when I used to play PvP a lot. I think it's just called stacking CC. Obviously stacking CC and ruining your diminishing returns is going to, like, really have a bad effect on PvP. If, you know, if you're stacking, like stuns together and stuff like that so and obviously if I go to a stun here I can see it for four seconds and if I go for a kidney shot I can see that as well or like if I swap it with a gouge I think yeah it'll go into a gouge straight after so yeah just generally very useful add-on to d display like when a an enemy is cc'd so when you shouldn't be targeting him, him or stacking your cc so generally is really useful but anyway guys, that is the end of the video. Stay tuned for my top 10 t uh, rogue tips and tricks video coming out very soon that I'm working on. Uh, my name is Metagoblin, until my next video, ciao.